Welcome to Independent Solutions. Today we'll be going through PosScanner troubleshooting. On the screen at the moment you can see the three main models we have. The 1100i, the 800i and the VS3200i. As the 800i is the newest and most common, we'll use this as the example for the video. As you can see, the scanner currently doesn't have a laser. So if you don't have a laser, you'll need to find a new USB port to plug into or RS-232 cable depending on your scanner. As the 800i is USB only, we'll need to plug this into a USB port. So I'll push this screen back to show you me plugging it in and picking up on the power and getting its laser. But while the screen's up, you'll notice some 12 volt retail USB ports, the green ports on the left of where my hand is. And that's what the 1100i and the VS3200i use. So now that that's plugged in and brought back down, the scanner has a laser and is working. If it's not working, you're still having issues like a weird scan noise, you may need to reprogram it. We'll cover how to do that now. So as you just saw, we had that scan sheet there. Now, if you don't have a copy of them, if you go to your browser on the back office and go to www.independentsolutions.com.au and from that web page, go to the news section. And in the news section, you'll be looking for the same thumbnail that was on this video for the POS scanner troubleshooting, because in this news article is all the scan sheets. So we'll use the 800i as the example, as we have throughout this video. So we'll click on the 800i scan sheet here, and that will bring it up on the screen. Now that it's up on screen, we've got two options. We can either download it or print it. The only reason you'd want to download over print is if you plan to use this multiple times. Otherwise, printing for a one-time use is fine. So we want to use the first barcode to scan to reset to factory defaults, then the second to enter the programming mode, and then USB OEM. Now, if you have an 1100i OVS, you may need to do an RS-232, which is a screw-in cable. It depends on the type of cable you have. For the 800i, we can skip the page three, and page four is how long you want the timeout to be. So after five minutes, it'll time out and go to sleep. Once you're happy with your timeout settings, you go back to page one and exit the programming mode. And that's how you reprogram. Thanks for watching.